Progenuator, I propose a test. Running 3.2.0. Let's see. Uh, CV hasn't worked, so we're gonna do a test today. I'm going to my internal hard drive, my projects folder, templates folder, and Temple 2 is fine. So I've deleted all the CV tracks out of here. Now we're going to create one. See what happens. Boom, there it is. And save this as template 5 CV. Do it. Save. Now let's make some noise. Base house. Oh, I haven't changed the drums on this one yet. <laughs> That'll work. Um, so now, edit this note, load. Oops, escape that. Content, samples, crash. Love that crash. Matrix. And let's edit that again to view the effects. There's no effects in there. But I do want to go global and turn the level all the way up. That does so for all notes. That's interesting. All right. Launch. Matrix. And I want the CB track. So we'll record enabled down here. Mixer input outputs. And uh, my Moog. Well, it's not even plugged in up here. Because I was pissed. Only got the gates, so we'll be experimenting with the other sounds. Frequency modulation, VCF in. So you can, you can combine inputs, you can't combine outputs, just so you can see what we did here. There's the mode. Probably can't tighten this down to hold. Where was the best? That's fucking cool. All right, let's stay there and we'll uh, put a little MIDI in here, get some audio out, do a save, and see if anything happens to it. Um, and record. There's our drums. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Now we can create an audio track. And mixer. We're gonna take this from 11.12 on my, no, cause it's, how the fuck does this come back? It might not. <laughs> ah, shit. It's gonna come into one or two, not both. And I gotta get a cable for that. So I'll pause. All right, so I've grabbed this from my speaker that I have down at the bottom, my 12 inch monitor, which I sometimes use to monitor when I'm doing production if I don't wanna use the headphones. And I can hear it using my knobs here. It's on monitor one right now, so that's this top row for the master, and I can dedicate which ones I want to hear. And so I can preview something before I send it to the mains, which would then go to Twitch, etc., or my recording. And so, just like having DJ headphones, this is my DJ headphone. But in this case, I'll be able to send, I'll have to detune all of these, and then just take up 11 and 12. It's gonna come back in as a, like a stereo pair, but it's only going out mono, the one cable here, so it only needs to come in. Ah, oh, shit. only needs to come in one cable. Fucker. So I'll get that plugged into the back of the forest. And then we're gonna have fun. first and I'll do sampler to do that. So I'm only gonna come into one. So there's input one, we'll arm it. And there's not shit for volume there. So oh that's because and I don't need the this slider has no effect on it now because I'm running it through this monitor channel. So I can hear it at whatever volume I want. I'll check cutoff and resonance real quick. Make sure that doesn't blow it over the top. So that gets pretty fucking close. We don't want to go. Okay. So we can exit out of here because I don't want to do my recording in here. To have to be saved somewhere and then loaded into a track, which you can do, but that doesn't cue it on time slices like we want. So, audio, let's check. Input one, we'll go out. It's kind of a synth line, so we'll go out three. Make the baseline maybe in a minute. All right. Um, shift and we're on a four bar. Then we can hold recording and go to settings and take off the fixed length. Now we're gonna have fun and then trim it at the end to what we want. Hold record or hit record. And for that we can take off record. Let's go to the oops matrix. This one's clip. Can't really hear it, but that note there. Oh, that is a little blip, it's kind of fun. We'll leave it there. Um, so now we'll go back to that channel, hit record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to know how long you've been recording, just hit clip. Well, I thought it told us. Yeah, there's 12. It'll tell you by fours.
now we're doing 32. But I've kind of done a little different thing at the end here. I want to be able to pull 32 out of that. Let's go to 64. Try to end where we started and we'll see if it sounds good as a whole. out so there's our recording it's not blown out at the top and that's good so now uh, we've exited that's playing and so I can bring down my mode track over here and now we're just on this channel 3 mode because I like to let me know that it's audio. It's not a bass line, it's a synth. Melody. Um, close. Now what I'm going to do is save this twice. So I have this test in here and I'll be able to at least use one of these. So I've got the CV in there. I'm going to go Save project as back. No. Save project as. There's the up. There. Maybe moving around in that folder. Uh, version 3.2. Dash to CV. Do it. Save. Now I'll also go back to Matrix, navigate over, add a MIDI track. And I don't think there was anything important in those, but just because we made them, we'll copy that to there, release, copy that to there, release. I'll do that to there, and then I'm going to delete channel 6, and name this Moog CV. Do it. Close. Now it's saved in there, and I can add another CV track, copy this back over, and we'll do save project as CV MIDI. Maybe no CV, delete CV, too many, and save it. All right, stop all. What you see, what you see, what you see, what you see is not a test. Now we'll load places my hard drive. Um, we had the crash search in there. Project HD, moving around, boom. We'll load up the CV1 and see what happens. Oh my gosh, there it is. If you create CV in 3.2, it fucking works. If you had anything from 3.1.3 or before with a CV track in it, it would not load your program, not load your uh, project. Now we're fixed. So the final solution is, all of your tracks from 313, you have to delete a CV. So you do what I just did, where you copy it into a MIDI, delete that track, 
save as, uh, you don't even have to save as, just save your project. Do that for every single project that you have. Then upgrade to 3.2. Then create your CV tracks because whatever they did between versions did not work. But CV works in 3.2 if created in 3.2. Attenuator! Go back over. I'm gonna copy that beat down to there. Launch. Yeah, yeah. I need a bass line of some type. So let's look at. Copy this over. Let's copy that to there. And then there we'll look at this clip. So go to grid. Let's just delete all this shit. And then select. Right to start. bass in there and then people with their phones can hear that other bass going on. So two different C tones going on. Matrix save the freaking track. Just wanted to 
turn up the kick about the other stuff. CV works in 3.2! Attenuator out! <laughs> 